Well, it is a busy weekend at the Amarillo Civic Center. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. I'm Judd Baker. Shoppers, collectors and vendors of all kinds turned out to the Civic Center this weekend as the Amarillo Peddler Show, Texas Gun and Knife Show and Western Antiques and Collectible Show all taking place this weekend. KAMR Local Forest Jack Kessler has more from the Civic Center. Hundreds of people filled the Civic Center Saturday as they looked for their next treasure as three different events called the Civic Center home this weekend. Casey Floyd, the event manager for the Peddler Show, one of the events happening this weekend, says the show is about supporting small businesses in the community. Of course, you know, the last couple of years we've all had, I think, you know, the values have really shifted to really just, you know, support your communities and those local businesses and everything like that. And that's what the Peddler Show is all about. It's just giving back to those local communities and just getting all those vendors, you know, more exposure and then also letting the shoppers just come find things that you cannot find before. Floyd adds the Peddler Show is a one-stop shop for anything someone is looking for. Our vendors have categories from all over, so we have home decor, kitchenware, things for your kids, things for your pets, um, just for anyone in the family. Brenda Butter, show coordinator of the Amarillo Western and Antique Show, another event happening at the Civic Center this weekend, says the show is the longest running antique show in the nation and it started here in Amarillo. Butters adds it's fun to learn the history of items that are at the show. When we all, no matter how old we are, have something to learn. And, and uh, it's so much fun to speak with people that are so knowledgeable and have done this in really studied up on what they're doing. So they in turn like to tell us the stories. We like to video and, and learn and it's wonderful to have new audience to talk with and share with. She says people from as far as California and New York turn out for the antique show. Butter says you never know what you're going to find at the antique show. Everything from furniture, the Rancho furniture, we have hats that are worn and dusty and have so much character. There are some spurs and shafts, typical cowboy gear, but there's lots of wonderful, unique, off the charts kind of things that you don't see around. Floyd says all three of the peddler shows have a different type of feel to them. She says the July is a summer type feel with outdoor type items, while October show is getting people ready for the holidays. Live in studio, Jack Kessler, K Marlow for News. Judd. All right, Jack, thank you. If you missed any of these events today, all three will still be going on tomorrow.